at is getting names and numbers. He's extremely good at getting names and numbers, extremely good at, uh, extremely good on the phone. Uh, and so we're going to have him go over a few different uh, topics today about prospecting and referrals and uh, a couple of other areas. And, um, you know, again, uh, guy had just an unbelievable week this week. I mean, you know, I mean, you talk about, I mean, basically regional leader is a part-time contract. I mean, when you're a regional leader, the money you're making is just survival mode until you become an RVP, okay? Regional leader, I was never gonna, um, I was never going to break the bank at regional leader. Regional leader is just a 70% contract so you can make enough, so you can just do what you need to do to get to vice president. And so to go out with basically a, a, a part-time part contract and go make 1400 bucks in three days, and that's also why you want to make sure you have your securities license too so you can do, actually, an indexed annuity, what Jen did doesn't even require a securities license. So if you haven't done your fixed indexed annuity certification on POO, because we don't talk about it enough, shame on us, but if you haven't done your fixed indexed annuity certification on Primerica Online, do that. So if you run into somebody that's older, that needs it, that qualifies for it, you can sell it to them. But to go out this week, close five grand in business, and make 1500 bucks, it's a big week. Real big week. So, uh, so give it up for Chris Foreman, all right? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Awesome, awesome. Um, I've been getting uh, some questions about prospecting, referrals, different things like that. And then Luke said, "Chris, we got to just put together something. Uh, got to put, got to do something for the people. You know, for the people." So, um, you know, I, I put together a couple things that uh, that that we, we, you know, I feel that really is going to help you guys go from where you are right now to where you want to go. Uh, this week, everything that I'm talking about right now, I've used this week to write that business. You know, some way, somehow, I've used everything that I want to talk to you guys about right now to do it. Um, really, what changed? I don't even know if I would necessarily say anything changed because I, I still work as hard as I've always worked, but I just had to make sure that I was going to be destiny. That was really <laughs> what was happening. Really, what happened? It's only so, the first week, so, buddy. So yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's, right. that's why I wrote, had to write something, do that's something crazy. That's why competition so important. Yeah, that's, that's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> right. Because what I'm telling you is, you know, Jen, you know, our team, Jen and I, we're gonna do some, we're gonna write some pretty big numbers, and the rest of our team is gonna really do something ridiculous. But at the same time, I know for a fact that Destiny and Jose aren't laying down with this. Nope. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not at all. So the thing is, this is probably gonna be one of their biggest months that they've ever had. This is gonna be the biggest month that we've ever had. And we're gonna totally take over, you know what I mean, this this competition. We don't even have the board here anymore. Yeah, we do. We're totally gonna to take this over because of the competition that's happening right now. Everybody's focused on doing something big. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So prospecting. There are many different ways to prospect. Um, there's cold market prospecting, warm market prospecting, and hot market prospecting, okay? Now, all of those, none of those make a difference if your mindset is not the right way. If your head isn't screwed on right, you're gonna really fail when it comes to this. Does that make sense? And what do I, what do I mean when I say that? I, the first thing I wrote, I said the, the keys to prospecting is number one, keep your thinking in check. If you think prospecting is hard, prospecting is gonna be hard. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. If you feel like the prospect, if you think, oh man, really sharp couple over here, you know, they have, they already have a job, he's making good money, you know, she's a stay-at-home mom, she probably doesn't want to make, I don't, I don't know, I don't, if you're thinking that way and then you get the guts to actually try, uh, Destiny, hi, I'm Chris, you know what I'm saying? It, it's gonna totally throw you off if you're not thinking the right way. So before every interaction you do with a person, whatever, doesn't matter, make sure you're thinking the best possible outcome because what you think about grows, okay? And the thing is, the worst thing that they can say to you is no. When you really think about it, the worst thing that they can say is no, all right? And if they say no, who cares? Like, I, I'm like kind of looking for a response on that one. If, if, if I ask, you know, Mike, hey, Mike, would you be open to an opportunity if the money was right? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, you can blow up. Great. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
And then to make myself feel better, I'll walk away and say, what a loser. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know? To make myself feel better, right? Think, what, how crazy is that? I said, would you like to make more money? He said no, and I'm going to be upset that he said no, he doesn't want to make more money. <laughs> the stars are not aligned for me. Primerica doesn't work because Mike said no, he doesn't want to make more money. He's happy at his job. He's happy not providing the way he wants to. Really? And I'm going to feel tight about that? <laughs> <laughs> but, but the thing is, if I if if the, if the outcome is the different way, if I'm thinking, you know what, this guy probably isn't happy with his career. This guy probably wants to make more money. Mike, you know what? You seem like a really sharp guy. You know, with what you're doing for work right now, you seem like the kind of person that would be open to doing something bigger and better. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Let's exchange numbers and talk about it. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> the thing is, when you the, the thinking is what makes a difference. Okay. Um, I wrote this one down. Jen looked at it and said, man, that's good. We had to like high five because I came up with it. Um, animals, can smell, uh, animals can smell fear. So can your prospects. Does that make sense? Yeah. Animals can smell fear. So can your prospects. So if you go into a situation where you're hemming and hawing, uncon you, know, you don't have confidence, you don't breed somebody that you know, uh, is sharp, is on it, nobody's going to do business with you. People are gonna look when, when people start asking who's your supervisor. Yeah. They want to they want to deal with somebody who knows what they're talking about. Does that make sense? Yeah. So act as if. Have you has anybody seen that movie? Um, not Wall Street, but um, Boiler Room. Mm -hmm. When he was talking about act as if, mm -hmm. that is the hugest thing. Acting like you're the RVP. Acting like you got a hundred grand base shot. Walk with your chest sticking out. You know what I mean? Feel confident. Feel like you're somebody that's worth following. And then you make it make it in such a way that your confidence is so big, right? You can say ego, whatever. Make it feel you're so big. If you don't say no to me, you're out of your mind. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, your, con your, your, your prospects will smell that fear. So be fearless, okay? Um, so, you know, the steps to, to, uh, uh, to prospecting, there's three C's. Um, confidence, compliments, and curiosity. So those are the three things that you have in your quiver. Does that make the, the three arrows that you got in your quiver is uh, confidence, compliments, and curiosity. What do I mean by that? Number one, this, I mean, we've just been talking about confidence. We've been talking about your thought process, the way you're walking in to, an, uh, to, to a prospecting situation, okay? But then compliment. Who has a job right now? Keep your hand up if your boss compliments you all the time. <laughs> Put your hand down, bro. You know your boss don't compliment you. Yeah, he does. <laughs> you're like, that's, you that's, that's why he's like, kind of like pushing towards, hey, you're not going anywhere, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I want you to stay a couple more hours, right? Yeah, no, more like a couple more months. So, <laughs> there it is, right? so the thing is, com uh, compliment, that makes all the difference in the world. That makes all the that makes you instantly attractive. Think about this: when you compliment your spouse or your significant other, God, you look really good today. You know what I mean, girl? Those jeans you're wearing are just killing it right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. I'm looking. If you look at her face right now, she's she's lighting up. Does that make sense? So. <laughs> I'll light it up later. Yeah. So, <laughs> right? so delete that from the record. La, 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 yeah, la, la. yeah. Uh, so the good, thing though. is, it's right. that compliment makes a difference. Okay, when you're when you're prospecting people and you say something like, you know, Pinocchio, you, you know, we're here at Best Buy. You really seem like you got a lot of product knowledge. It means like you, it seems like you've really taken some time to understand your business. They must be paying you good. That's the next one. That's, they must be paying you really good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Making those compliments. You know, Destiny, every time, you know, we're, we're here, I'm here with my daughter, you're here with your kids. Every time I see you, you're one of the most attentive parents to their kids. That's awesome the way that you are with your kids. Thanks. You know what I mean? Making those little compliments when it, talk, when it comes to prospecting people makes a significant difference. They'll remember you when you call them. That's the dude that talked about how good of a mom I was. That's the dude that said that I, was, that I had great product knowledge. That's the person that said I had a great people personality. Nobody tells me that stuff. Does that make sense? And then curiosity. Um, 
one thing that most people don't realize is when you prospect somebody or when you're trying to set up an appointment with somebody, they're trying to find reasons to say no to you. Mm -hmm. To be completely honest with you. Mm -hmm. Because people don't want to be sold, you know? They, they're they trying to find reasons to say no. So if you're in a situation, if you're in a, in a sales situation, or a prospecting situation, or, or over the phone, whatever, you want to create curiosity. So don't give them everything. Give them just enough that's enticing. And things that are undeniable, right? Yep. Things that are undeniable. You mean, would you be interested in making extra money? If, if, uh, would you be interested in a career change if the money made sense? Sure. Absolutely, okay? You seem like the kind of people that want to make and save more money, right or wrong? Right. Okay? And if they said no, <laughs> do I care? No. no. Okay? So you ask these questions that are undeniable, that curiosity, okay? And um, you also need to understand this. You choose who you prospect, not the other way around. And one thing about it, when I prospect, I don't, I don't want this to get controversial, but it's very, very rare that I prospect people that are not in the market, personally. Because if I think about, you know, let me just write it out, right? If this is the bullseye, okay, or this is like, yeah, bullseye, whatever. This right here is a M M K. Married mortgage kids, all right? This right here is the single market, all right? And this is just the one or zero pointers, whatever. This is just